So here's what Mick, Nick has asked me to read for him today. People ask how I'm feeling. There are really no words to explain how I feel right now. Surreal is the word that keeps cropping up, and it really has been completely surreal. I have been so very overwhelmed by the support, cards and messages I have received. Everyone has been so incredible. One thing that has lifted me throughout the last few weeks has been the public support the police service has received during this incident. All the stories of community spirit, from the local businesses providing food and hot drinks to the officers standing for endless hours on the cordons, to the members of the public just showing their support for our work, have been quite simply overwhelming to hear about. I want people to focus on the investigation, not the police officer who was unfortunate enough to be caught up in it. I understand why there is attention on me, but all I've done is represent every police officer who goes out there every day and puts their life at risk. As for what happens now, we're just taking each day as it comes at the moment. I recognise that normal life for me will probably never be the same, and Sarah and I now need to find focus on the new normal for us and for our children. What I need now is time to regroup, recover, and most importantly, spend time with my loved ones. The President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. The fundamental question of our time is whether the West has the will to survive. This is an historic moment from which there can be no turning back.